definitely is a great sports agent. He's passionate about it, he's loyal, he's good, he knows what he's doing. What We're starting to see more about who he is as opposed to like what he does. 35 points, 11 assists, and six boards. You killed it tonight. <laughs> Here is to your contract year and making my job a hell of a lot easier. Nathan and Clay become good pals as well as business partners and, and you get the feeling that these are two good, you know, good friends. A lot of the Nathan, Haley, Jamie dynamic is something that Clay doesn't really have in his life, but may want at some point. It could be something for him. So he's he's drawn to it and he's you know very loving towards them. And on the same token, it's also why he's so protective of Nathan, you know, is because of the fact that this sort of represents, uh, you know, idealistically something he could have down the line. I think it'll be an interesting uh, theme for us to explore, you know, what happens if things go sour? Is that friendship still as gravy as it was when, you know, times were good? We'll see. I asked you to do two things for me. Make sure I play for the Bobcats and stay away from Quinn. Clay and Quinn really hit it off. She's the one person that, that Clay really starts to open up to and have this very unique relationship with where you see Clay sort of put the guard down and lose the charm and just get real and get honest. It's a really tricky situation because of the fact that Nathan adamantly states he does not want Clay anywhere near Quinn. So it's like if Clay wants to invest in the friendship, he has to risk the other, uh, the other side of it, which is uh, Nate's wrath. There are so many reasons that I shouldn't have done that. But I've wanted to for so long. Me too. 